First, an eight-year-old cold case out of Indiana is now linked to Fitchburg. 50-year-old Taylin Hill was arrested on Thursday. She was charged yesterday with reckless homicide and six counts of child abuse in the death of her adopted daughter, 15-year-old Erica Hill. NBC 15's Amy Flugsopt has been reading through this disturbing criminal complaint and has a look at the horrific details here. Amy? Since 2007, police in Gary, Indiana, have been investigating who they called the Lake County Jane Doe. It wasn't until last month when Taylor Hill's daughter came forward that they were able to identify the body as Erica Hill. Court documents show Taylor's daughter started researching in May to see if her cousin's body had ever been found. She found this reconstructed picture of a girl online she thought might be Erica. She then reached out to police in Indiana. Court documents also revealed the physically abusive life they lived at their Fitchburg home. She said in February of 2007, she came home from work to find Erica on the bathroom floor unresponsive. Erica's body allegedly laid there for several days before the kids were forced to move it. She claims her mother pulled some of Erica's teeth to avoid dental identification. They then took the body to Chicago, where Taylor allegedly lit it on fire and left it under an overpass. According to a criminal complaint, a few days later, they returned and took the body to what was believed to be an abandoned garage in Gary, Indiana. Taylor's daughter said her mother made threats that if anyone said anything, they would be next. Erica's body was found later that month. The autopsy ruled the cause of death suffocation from a rag stuffed into her mouth. Taylor Hill is behind bars on a $500,000 bond.